this train station in Barcelona is being transformed into a real-world test lab. I'm Professor Ed Gallier, and we're here today to test the active dynamic signage system. These signs are designed to get people out of busy, confined places like this in an emergency. In a disaster situation, every second counts. And so whatever we can do to make it clearer to people where to go and what to do will improve their chances of surviving. We wanted to come up with a system that would help people find the way out of a complex structure. And not only find the way out, but also find the optimal way out. In the London uh, King's Cross Underground fire back in 1985, most of the people who died, died because they took the wrong route out of the station. They actually took an evacuation route which led them into the fire. So the signs during the trial should line up two red crosses and a flashing green sending them down this way. For Ed, this is the culmination of three years of work. We're going to test the active dynamic signage system with real people in a real station without any instruction on what to do and how to behave, and we're going to see if the system's going to work. OK, so we've got four components to the whole system. We've got the CCTV cameras, and the CCTV camera is the, is the eyes of the system. It's collecting information about how many people we've got on the platform and where they're located. A fire detection system on the platform reads the heat from a blaze, then maps its intensity and spread. The simulation software will run through all the different evacuation combinations of how you can get people out of the station, and it calculates the best way to get the people out. Then it activates the signs, sending people to the exit that will save the most lives. It's smart and fast, delivering direction in almost real time. The key thing is, the system has got to be intuitive. If we need to send people down there to tell them what to do, it's too late. Barcelona Transit is working closely with Ed's team. So we're talking about the signs. Looks like it's uh, they're all working, and uh, uh, they should now be. Now we are checking all the combinations, or just the one we're going to run. Just the one we're going to run. These volunteers have never been to this station before and don't know what will happen. They're getting colored tags to spread them out on the platform. Ed needs at least 180 people to turn up this morning. It's looking good. We've got just about enough people. It's a big relief. <laughs> Everyone into position. All stations into position, please. OK, simulation engine, we are ready. <laughs> They're pouring down the wrong exit. Ed watches one volunteer figure it out. Clearly the system can work, so why isn't it more effective? We thought it was pretty clear with the Red Crosses, but some people just went out their nearest exit. Uh, and more than we had hoped. They didn't even register the signs. I took the, the wrong way. Sorry. <laughs> I tried to go to another one, but the alarm said that you had to go to the nearest exit. The alarm said that you had to go to the nearest exit. Could a misleading announcement be to blame? Mes properas means closest. It's close to so the we say get to the closest exit. We should change these and say, say go to the exit. Yeah, but if the messaging is telling them to go to the nearest exit, and the natural instinct is to go to the nearest exit, yeah. but if the majority of people decided not to do that, yeah. that means that the signage has actually worked. Uh -huh. Day two of the trials. I feel like an expectant father. Today, a new announcement and a new challenge piling fresh volunteers at one end to see if they'll go to the other end of the platform motivated only by Ed's signs. Hopefully we're going to see everyone moving by these exits that were the red crosses and going out the exit at the far end. Not a perfect result, but the signs are clearly working. Right away, another train arrives to retest yesterday's scenario. OK, we need to get off the platform now. Evacuate the building. Yeah. 
What we saw was that we had more people go the way we wanted them to go. So by the combination of having a, a clearer voice message and the signage system working together in tandem, we got a much better result. This kind of uh, dynamic signage probably in the future will be very useful for us. If we can cut off even seconds from the decision-making process, we're going to save people's lives.